Hi, and welcome to Mods. We're keeping you connected to inspiring science with virtual camp discovery brought to you by Citrix, the museum's official innovation partner. Boggle your mind with stimulating STEM. Experience the fascinating phenomenon of bending light and experiment with optical illusions. Hey, welcome back to the Museum of Discovery and Science channel. Today, we are talking about reflection? Uh, so actually, we're going to be talking more about refraction. Oh, refraction. And that's the process where you make fractions over and over and over and over again, right? Uh, not so much. We're actually talking about light and the way it travels through different mediums. And by medium, you mean in the middle? Objects or states of matter oh, or liquids okay. or gases or uh, things with different textures, different densities. So I see that we've got a lot of... Just, it looks more random than usual. Usually you can tell like what we're doing, but I see that we've got like test tubes and something with water and some oil and then vases and yeah. what, what, tell me what we're doing. So we're talking about the way that light moves and we're all familiar with the concept of the speed of light, right? And uh, how in Einstein's theory, the speed of light is a constant. But what that leaves out is the way that it travels through other things. That's just the way that light travels through a vacuum. That speed is constant. But uh, different things like water or oil or glass are going to make the light travel at different speeds. And that speed is what we call the index of refraction. OK. I've been told I can actually travel at the speed of light. See, it just happened. I yeah, I saw it. You went around the globe. Maybe Perfect. All right. So tell me what our first experiment is. So first we're just going to look at this simple, this is a giant prism, right? And we're all maybe familiar with prisms, little handheld uh, right. glass prisms that are basically a triangle. And that triangle will bend light and split it apart because the light that we see is part of the electromagnetic spectrum, which is just a wide range of vibrations. Some of those vibrations we can hear like radio waves, some of them we can feel, like ultraviolet rays, and some of them, like the visible light spectrum, we can see. It's the way that light reflects and our eyes pick it up. And the color, uh, going from red, orange, yellow, green, blue, indigo, and violet, are the colors that we see. Uh, when the light tr passes through a triangle like this prism, it will split apart the light so that maybe you can see my face a little disjointed. What it's also doing is it's uh, separating uh, kind of Sp making That's that so cool. color spectrum a little bit wider too, so you can see the individual colors in the spectrum as well. Making kind of a rainbow effect on the things that you're seeing. So when I'm watering the yard and the sun is hitting that stream of water perfectly, I see a rainbow. Is that kind of the same thing? Yeah, absolutely. Or when you see a rainbow in the sky, which usually happens when it's raining and the sun is also out, you're seeing the sun's light going through water, which is bending the light and uh, making those colors pop out a little bit more. I usually follow the rainbow to go find a pot of gold. That too. Okay. So what's our next one here? So next experiment, I want you to take the markers in the paper there and just draw me an arrow. Doesn't matter what direction the arrow's uh, okay. facing. Like a block arrow or just a, a lined arrow? Just an arrow, just as long as it's definitively pointing in one direction. Okay. Okay, there we go. Okay. Now just hold it up to the camera. And from the camera, we want to see the arrows pointing towards me, right? He's a cool guy. Arrows pointing towards me. So when we look at the arrow through the water, through the curved glass, is the arrow still pointed at me? No, I think it's actually pointed the opposite direction. What, what is going on? Is it magic? So when the light travels through the glass, it bends. And when it travels through the water, it also bends. And so looking through water through a curved object makes the, the light you're seeing, makes the objects you're seeing, give it a mirror effect. So it actually turns that arrow around, just with the way the light is bending going through the glass and through the water. Now, is that, now I know our viewers are gonna ask, you know, is that any object? Like, could I take this marker and, and pass it through? Is that gonna turn it around? Yeah, absolutely. The arrow is just the easiest way to demonstrate that. Uh, but yeah, it'll, it'll, the words on your marker will be backwards. Uh, the cap will be faced in a different direction. Uh, it's really just taking whatever you're seeing and giving it a mirror effect. That's absolutely insane. Wow, that's just so cool. It's something I could do at the, the breakfast table, right? Or I'm just sitting there eating breakfast and a glass yeah. of water and I can just kind of pass things. So, so, so crazy. All right, 
What's our next one? So the next one is we're going to play around with stuff. Remember I was talking about indexes of refraction. That's kind of the speed that light is traveling through that object. Uh, glass, this Pyrex glass and the vegetable oil in it has the same index of refraction. So when I take a test tube and put it into the vegetable oil, it kind of starts to hide it a little bit. It makes it look a little weird. But watch what happens when I fill the test tube with oil and put it back in. So now, you, now, so now we have a test tube full of oil. Test tube of oil going into a glass beaker of oil. Whoa, it like disappeared almost. And you can't see it at all. It's like a superhero. Definitely, because uh, the glass beaker and the oil have the same index of refraction, and oil is also a vastly different density than the air or the water that's in the other beaker. Uh, it's causing it to just make it so that you can't see uh, any reflection or refraction of that test tube because it's immersed in oil. Could I do this with water? Would the same principle apply to water? Uh, so it's the same thing isn't going to quite happen with water. We can try it with some water just to uh, test that out. So we'll fill this one up. We'll fill this one up. And you can see that it kind of happens. It's a little harder to see. OK. Uh, the density probably helps out a lot here. The density uh, of the oil definitely helps a lot there. Um, but it's more the fact that the glass and the oil have the same index of refraction. So the light is traveling through the oil at the same speed that it's traveling through the glass. Whereas okay. the water, it's a little bit different. So you can still see uh, the light reflecting off of the water and uh, coming through the water rather than with the oil. Well, that was absolutely amazing just showing us the different index of refraction that we can really find amongst these different experiments here. Um, I know that I'm going to go home and probably try some of these just because they're blowing my mind right now. But we hope you guys enjoyed. We'll see you next time. Thank you for joining us for this episode of Virtual Camp Discovery. Special thanks to Citrix Mod's official innovation partner for powering this series. Please stay safe and connected with mods by visiting our social channels at MODSFTL.